there, and welcome to our Let's Play of Shopkeep 2. I'm your host, Yalti, and this is my shop at the moment. I built it on the uh, Twitch stream, and I'm currently in the middle of restocking it. So we have 3,000 monies. Go our name. Somehow make it into more of that. We have a robot to help us now. What the robot does is uh, it's fairly interesting. It um, basically just drops off items that you tell it to. You can get things like anti poisons. Anti poisons, by the way. But what I'm doing at the moment is I'm teaching this little robot, get this, how to stop my shell so I don't have to go around and pressing buttons on this. It does it for me. I think it's neat. So we have where to put the anti poisons now. So once I imprint them, the um, robot dropping goes, okay. There's weapons, but it's actually just stock. Probably change that. We go. And he goes, oh shit, okay, gotta do something. Oh. And he goes over and he does that. Now, the other things you can do, apparently, is you got a blacksmith, and he gives you missions to drop stuff off here. You just quest and stuff. There's a like a little Stardew Valley kind of stuff where you, every time you do something, you get more stuff to do more things, and it costs you more money, so you get to do it again. So um, what we're gonna do now. We're gonna order some shirts. So you can order stuff. Go with uh, we'll go with some uh, four shirts. Eight. You got. We have eight of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, those fit on all these tables here. So uh, these tables will all have shirts. Or I can put it on this back end here. Every time you order something, it gets delivered. It's kind of neat. Why are we selling shirts? People need to buy shirts. We can print the shirts onto here. The game goes, oh, okay, I guess we're selling these things now. Put it in the little box. I could just put it down myself, but we don't need to do that anymore. We got a thing to do that for us. Put those there. I'm actually just restocking at the moment, don't mind me. An imprint. There we go. It's imprinted now. So every time I give it goat horns, it does that. Delivery. Now I need to fill up these shelves. So we got myrrh potions here. These are stores to us. Stamina. Let's order some stuff. What can I get? Let's take a look. I can order six more shirts. We're gonna be doing that. I gotta put those in the back row. So everything in here is meant to be like low quality items, I guess. Not really low quality, it's more like just stuff I can get. The game moves really fast as well. I'm not sure what, I think what engine it uses, but like you gotta do stuff and you just got that like, zip around. Like you're free to move. Get little upgrades. So yeah, now all those are imprinted. Did I imprint this one? Nope. Okay. Not giving enough shirts. Okay, I need one more shirt. Whoops. <sighs> I'm also spending all my monies on this. Like all of our monies. To restock. This video is me restocking my shop. I'll show you another one next week because I ran out of stuff in my shop because I was too busy mucking around. There we go. There's myrrh potions, there's some alcohols so I can get.
So I got two sets of shells I can fill up. What portions can I get? Got two thousand. So. I get for 2,000. You can do the health and mirror potions next to each other. I don't know what's making the battle music in the background. Really weird. I had this playing the whole time. I'm like, why is there battle music? I was probably wondering, why am I watching someone restock a shop? It's inventory management. Someone might be learning something. I don't know. So I'll put all the health potions in this place here at the front. People do try to steal from your shop, so it's a bit of a pain. Uh, I don't actually have any money. I, spend it, I actually spend it all on this robot. Wait, no, I got some money now. Wait, I got some. Oh, sweet, it's got like 4,000 monies. That's heaps. They do order stuff, so the game orders stuff for you to send out. I have to find out what to put here. So, what we're going to do is we've got 4,000. These things take up. I get six of an iron one, I think. Yeah, six each. So, if I go. Low cost stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Didn't order that. That um, I had to have them in my inventory the first one, and after that, freaking good as gold. This is when I hope things. Ah, oh, yeah, sweet, they do go on the right table. Um, but yeah, I've been streaming this on Twitch, but the people haven't been showing up for it, which is understandable. It's not much happening. It's you run a shop. It's fun. Oh wait, what am I doing? We got this sh uh, those little shoes now. Yep, cool. That's all gonna be shoulder pads. It's gonna be gloves. There we go. And these, are, this is gonna be the main shop area. This is my weapon shop. It looks pretty neat. You have the weapons. I don't use weapons. I just be selling stuff. This is quite, there's a thing I'm supposed to be doing, but screw it. Now that's gonna take all those things. And it also knows what I stock, so if I just give this to it, it'll take it for me instead of me even to walk around myself. Then it wakes up and goes, oh, fucking. Again! <laughs> Yeah, let's take a look outside. So, out of the town, probably open the shop as well. It'll run itself to the ground. Um, I can, how many of these can I buy? How, many, how much room do I have? For... I can buy three of them. This place looks so neat, tidy now, compared to the before. Just get a robot to do it. Does it well? What was I doing? I was getting stuff from here, plate potions and swords. 
Just put these over here and go. One, two, three. And now I know I need three of each in this thing. Is so if I get three of each of these, fill up those racks. I know that now. And I just need some plate potions. Nothing's some printed there. I can put those there. Now, every time I get something, I can check if it's been imprinted, and if it hasn't, I can just find a spot for it. This is very late game. This is like several hours in. Um. Supposedly. Maybe I'm just really bad at it. Oh shit. There you go, we fixed that. Everything's imprinted. Oh shit, nope, nope. Fucked it up, fucked it up. What the fuck are you doing? You didn't tell me to put anything there. Yes, I did. Yeah, it should be all good. I can stand on the table as well. Don't know what I'm doing from there. Don't result. Okay, now let's go take a look inside the gates. I need to open the shop. Soon. Okay, how much money do I have? 1,000. Yes, I have to open up. Sadly, I can't just like skive it. Okay, so it, when it opens. The NPCs start going in, that's when they start buying the stuff. They steal sometimes, but that's not up to me. So I'm gonna go out to get mobs, get monsters. It tells you where they are on the map. So there's a map telling you where things are. I've got a farm, I actually keep getting my crops killed. That's where my money's gone. And you grow wheat. There's your first plant. You know, the old uh, laser lettuce, marijuana, that, that stuff. Crazy. Increases your stamina. And it's wilted. I went out a bit late. You have to remember to like collect stuff. I'm guessing there's a robot for this as well. But yeah. Whoops. So yeah, I'm effectively making monies off this. I'm gonna do an order for all that stuff I just sold, except for the spider silk, because you need to send the hunter out off of that. Well, you don't have to. Uh, there's trees that you can cut down for wood. This is very early game stuff that you do that. We'll go hunt a wolf. So we have wolves. Let's go kill one. The mobs in this game are weird, because uh, as you can see, they are made out of Monsters. Hello. I'm trying to uh, welcome to the video. I'm your host, Jolty. Oh shit, you're dead. Yeah, so I can one shot them because very far into game. Or you can mine it's stuff to do. And they add quests as well, so I need to collect broken truth, whatever that is. I haven't been through here. Oh shit. And there's a tree that's on fire as well. Let's take a look at that. Hello. Oh. Wait, what? That's weird. Okay. It's family's families. 
I skipped over that tutorial. 15 minutes in, I've shown you nothing. Oh, there's a crab. Let's kill a crab. I need to actually, I actually do need to kill these things. But yeah, there's monsters, there's crabs. I'll show you some of the things outside. We've got the crab. It's made out of crab. As you can tell, it's a fairly happy crab, being all like... And then I just come along and I go... Bop. That was a cute little owl. It drops crab pieces. Which can be used to... Make stuff. I'll show you the fishing mini game. Why wouldn't I show you the fishing mini game? And they respawn fairly quickly, so if you're hunting something, you can kind of get plenty of stuff. In a matter of moments. There's some items that aren't actually worth making, like, um, once you get items get low enough levels, like apples, you'll be stocking them, and then you just don't need to because they're worthless. But uh, we'll do some fishing. So, fishing's interesting because it's a little mini game. What you do is you put the thing in there, right? And then you play Guitar Hero to, f to fish your stuff. You play literal Guitar Hero with your keyboard. And it gets you fish. And with that, you have fish. And then there's this fire tree. Pretty normal to have a flaming tree. As you can see, it's bright. And it drops. So everything in here has a purpose. It everything makes it a random like item drop or something. So this makes fire embers or whatever, because fire makes embers. If that makes sense to anyone. Uh, there's little villages dotted around the landscape. Guy sells herbs. Puff puff. Shoes. Any quests? No. Nothing here. That sells sticks. Like literal sticks. This is the Gryffindor symbol. You can tell flag. Oh yeah, the flag makes no the flag doesn't make sense at all. Well so much not guys. Um You haven't seen the goats. There you goats. So yeah, the game, mildly repetitive, but it's like any other management game. Eventually, you hit this like precipice of all this stuff you had belongs to you, because as you can see, I had to make, get, collect the stuff to make this, and now I've got a big ass town. Before it was a tiny town, you couldn't go outside, you couldn't go anywhere, and now it's like all massive and helpful. The blacksmith, who just happens to be here. Make stuff for you. Um, I've got some iron, so I'm gonna make some helmets. I don't have enough money, never mind, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I don't have any money. Okay, we'll go. You can sell things straight to people. I, I, I wanna give you this. Here's a, here's a piece of crab. Okay. It's bought crab, because they can. And now we're gonna make the iron, because I can. Uh, what else can I make? I've got two wolf hide, so I'll make that as well. Now, when people steal from your store, what you can do is if you catch them, they're, you see how they're running, like, away? They stole my Nomad sword. This is pretty expensive. That's, like, top tier loot. Oh, wait, this is the wrong place. There we go. How much money have we made? 36,000. So I started with zero, opened the shop, and I've got 36,000 monies now. Just from like having a sword, having stuff being sold over the day after opening the shop. So the game's not unrewarding in the sense that it only took minutes to make that much money, like 20 minutes and 37,000 monies. 
this is uh five hours into the game so not before it was like ten thousand maybe and now it's just like oh yeah sure. you're making fuck tons now i can buy another robot and it can clean i still got items in the shop as well so if, even if i did that i still have money left over but the most important part of this game you need to pay your taxes otherwise what happens is Government ruins your day. It takes your money, it takes your livelihood. Oh, wait, we're talking about the game still? No. Oh, shit. And then in here, oh wait, the huntsman. I sent him out on a hunt before. No, I did not. Um, with this guy, you show him stuff and he goes, oh, you tell him you need to hunt it. So, crap, donate item. Oh, now you can hunt crabs. Don't know why he wanted to hunt crabs, but I think there's a chef in the game, and he can make stuff out of crab. It's Morgan Bell and Bolton. Crab sandwich. I need some bread. Okay. Where's my... So, to make... Bread, I need wheat and milk. I think it's where's the milk gone? They move around all the items, I get confused. One, two, three. I don't have enough money. It's all my money. They can use that to make the. Oh. I can cook the fish. Interesting. I make bread. There it is. Oh, yeah, it's like two to one on that. I need to make five. So if I make the bread, I can make the crab sandwich, and that sells for a fuck ton. I can sell the fish. I haven't sold fish before here. I have it for 200. You type in a number. If they accept it, that's like an acceptable number for that. If I don't, you can haggle down. So now these things are done. Iron helmet and leather cow. So you take those. And there's places you can put them. Like, I could put the iron helmet just on this. Like anywhere, you know, accept it. So you can put, uh, imprint them to these pedestals, for example, and then have the rest of them be that. Then for every iron helmet I have, I can put them there. Then for example, I can put the um, legs and greaves here, and then I know that this spot's all for iron stuff. And I think I'm in the let's play there, but if you like the game, check it out. It's on Humble Bundle, it's on Steam. It's kind of fun. It's, if you like little management games where you run around doing Fuck tons of stuff in a matter of minutes. Pretty good. If you don't like that kind of thing, well, there's games for everyone. See you guys around.